You might have not given much thought to it, but cancer is widespread among dogs. But how do you recognize cancerous tumors like melanoma in, in dogs? A dog can be a wonderful addition to any family. But before bringing one into your life, it is important to know how to take care of it. Caring for a dog is a big responsibility that should not be taken lightly. This means you need to fulfill its needs and ensure your pet is happy. Aside from providing nutritious food and safe home, there's no higher priority than ensuring your pup's health. It is a common type of skin cancer in dogs that involves tumors originating from melanocytes. Melanocytes are skin cells responsible for producing a pigment called melanin, which gives the skin, hair, and eyes their color. Melanoma happens in the form of a nodule or a mass when there is an abnormal production of melanocytes. Commonly found as lumps, these tumors will affect different parts of the body since they have a high tendency of spreading. As they continue growing, the tumors tend to bleed. Either benign or malignant, melanoma in dogs can develop in the skin, eyes, lips, toenail beds, and other unusual places in the body. The most common sign of canine melanoma is a black or brown mass. But some are not pigmented and may appear as a pink lump. Melanoma tumors can behave in different ways. Though difficult to predict, doctors can forecast the behavior of the tumor with its location, thickness, or depth, and the properties of the cancerous cells. Benign melanoma in dogs tends to grow slowly and ranges in size from very small to more than 2.5 inches in diameter. It may be red, gray, brown, or black and appears on areas of the skin covered with hair. While benign melanomas are more common and readily curable, malignant melanomas are a serious concern, as they are extremely aggressive. Malignant melanoma in dogs tends to grow quickly and spread readily to distant tissues and other organs. Highly invasive, it can arise anywhere but more often occurs in the mouth, on the lips, and in the toenail beds. While treatment depends on the progression of the disease, surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation are strongly suggested to improve the chance of survival. The canine melanoma vaccine has also been shown to be effective as an additional systematic treatment. This skin cancer in dogs can be diagnosed by cytology based on the presence of melanin granules and each cell's characteristics. However, it is not always diagnostic and thus may require other examination. So, the diagnosis of melanoma in dogs is based upon a fine needle aspiration, which is a type of biopsy procedure. The doctor uses a syringe with a very thin, hollow needle into the affected area to take out a small sample of cells. But if it does not provide a definitive diagnosis, specialists will surgically collect a piece of tissue from the mass. Before the surgery, they will evaluate the health of the dog's internal organs by doing a complete blood count and urine testing. Surgery is the treatment for melanoma in dogs. Typically benign, a mass develops in the haired skin and only requires conservative surgical removal. Although in certain cases, an oncologist may recommend doing chemotherapy every three weeks. Most patients tolerate the treatment with mild side effects lasting only a short time. In addition, radiation therapy prevents or delays the regrowth of a tumor after it has been removed. Such treatments require administration twice a week. The biological behavior of the tumor can vary tremendously with its location. So, in this video, we will discuss its occurrence in many locations of the body. Melanoma in dogs also happens within the oral cavity. It can develop along the gums, lips, and other parts of the mouth. Commonly in older and male dogs, oral melanoma occurs in darker areas of pigmentation in the mouth. It can penetrate deep into the bone and spread in up to 80% of dogs, making it the most common type of cancer in canines. Mouth cancer in dogs has the potential to spread to the lungs and lymph nodes, either benign or malignant. The oral tumor usually continues to grow to cause discomfort and difficulty in eating. The second most common location is the nailed, which occurs in up to 20% of dogs. Also known as subungual, nailed melanoma in dogs may not be straightforward to recognize. Thus, knowing what it looks like will be important to have a better prognosis when detected at an early stage. Dogs with this disease will have a dark brown or black colored mass on the toe. This lump is the common and most obvious sign. A melanoma that involves the toenail bed initially appears to be an infected toe. Since antibiotics cannot resolve the problem, eventually, the affected foot begins to swell, bleed, or produce pus causing lameness. There are two kinds of ocular melanomas in dogs, limbal and uveal melanoma. Sometimes called epibulbar, limbal melanomas are less common and may develop in the marginal region of the cornea. On the other hand, uveal melanomas are the most common primary intraocular tumor in dogs. 
They grow from the tissues that make up the uvea. While limbal melanoma is benign, about 80% of uveal melanoma is also non-cancerous, and the risk of metastases is less than 5%. Both may tend to grow slowly, but if left untreated, they can seriously compromise the function, health, and structure of the eye. We hope you found our in-depth review helpful and informative. Comment below if you have any questions about this review or explanation. Thanks for watching.